Commander on deck. We're nearing the pole, 16 clicks south-southeast of the Polaris Trench. Another 10 minutes, we'll be on the Russian side of the Arctic. We used to play underwater tag with the subs. Just daring those guys to open up the torpedo. We still do that, sir. Nah, it's no fun anymore. It's like going to the prom with your sister. You know nothing's gonna happen. Sir, I have something. Let's hear it. Unknown, sir. Okay, give it to mother. What's mother say, Seaman? Transmission, sir. Unknown origin. Transmission? From where? Hubris Research Station, maybe. Contact me. Hubris Research, this is the USS Jimmy Carter. Have received unknown transmission. Please identify. Hubris Research, this is the USS Jimmy Carter. Have received unknown transmission. Could you please identify? Sir, whatever it is, it appears to be causing interference with ComSat. Sir, I have a target closing, 2,500 meters. Identify. Unknown, sir. Nothing that big can be unknown, Seaman. Check your program. Yes, sir. Mother has nothing, sir. Hard to port. Hard to port. Object is countering our move, sir. Now hard to stern. Bring us up 250 feet. Hard stern. Hard stern. Up 250. Still closing, sir. Prepare for impact. <laughs> sir, they're just as speed. Move and intercept. Arm the torpedoes. Torpedo room. Prepare to fire. Vessel at our 12 o'clock. You are on an intercept course with the USS attack submarine Jimmy Carter. What the hell is it? I don't know, sir, but we're going to find out fast. It's heading straight for us. Sir, impact in 15, 14, Battle stations, 15, prepare for impact. 12, 11, 10, 9, Sir, Eight, do we fire torpedoes? Seven, six, five. Fire one. Four, fire one. Three. Two. One. What the hell's happening? We just got hit by an EMG pulse right off the scale. The torpedo has detonated. On target? Negative, still closing. What is it, sir? I don't know. Dr. Fletcher, have you read the extensive study on the effect the Arctic warming is having on the uh, planet's environment? Yes, I have read what you call an extensive study, but you know as well as I that that study was politically motivated. Are you saying the Arctic is not warming? I'm saying what you think is warming the Arctic is not the actual reason. If the Arctic and the polar ice caps continue to melt at this rate, within 50 years, 60% of the world's land masses will be reclaimed by the sea. Yes, and 30 years ago, people like you said we were heading into our next ice age. So now you dispute your own findings. No, that's not the point. What I'm saying is we take no radical action now. What you're suggesting is that you be allowed further study while we risk worldwide disaster. You are not taking into account what the real cause may be. Really? And what is that? Transmissions from under the ice that need to be analyzed. Are we again going to continue with this uh, so-called theory about intelligent transmission coming from the source? Maybe you are interested in becoming a guest speaker on the television show Alien Phenomena. I'm not a television speaker, Doctor. I'm a scientist like yourself. Let's simplify the question. What is your theory on the source of the Arctic warming? During the first recorded spike in temperatures, there were transmissions. Transmissions. A series of pulses from the bottom of... A series of pulses from the bottom of the ice cap. 
72 hours ago, the USS Jimmy Carter was almost lost after it recorded a matching transmission, then received a massive energy Ms. pulse. Ms. Fletcher, I've also read the report. This uh, so-called energy pulse is much more likely to be the concussion from the torpedo that the submarine fired, which was prematurely deadened. But the transmission, the object that the submarine was firing at, don't you think that deserves a little further study? You admit, as a scientist, that these pulses could be nothing more than magma displacement or a, an error in the sensor equipment. As for the objects, with the continuing destruction of the northern polar cap, it could be nothing more than falling ice. <laughs> Miss Fletcher. So, Miss Fletcher and I disagree as to how to solve the Arctic warming problem. I want to use seismic torpedoes, while Miss Fletcher would like to wait and study the situation indefinitely. Not indefinitely. Understandably, Miss Fletcher worries about the environment and is fearful of what may, may be perceived as a radical solution. With that stated, I'm asking this committee for a vote on the removal you son of Miss Fletcher bitch. from active duty. This is duty. supposed to be a conference. You had your conference. Now we are having a vote as to whether this committee is to be subjected to your further ravings. May I have a show of hands? Those who feel that Miss Fletcher should be allowed to continue her research at the Hubris. Now, may I see those who wish to end Miss Fletcher's tenure, so to expedite a solution and to head off a worldwide crisis. Thank you. Miss Fletcher? Miss Fletcher, although you are no longer working at the Hubert Research Station, you are still legally obligated not to inform the media of the full nature of the problem. Yes, thank you, Doctor. I am very well aware of the terms of my confidentiality agreement. I mean, we wouldn't want the world to know that the G8 nations are planning on nuking the North Pole now, would we? So, we have clearance to launch. We spoke directly to Chomsky. Tell Henderson to load two deep dive probes, one megaton each. Listen to me. Henderson, I, I need two deep dive probes, directly to me. one megaton each. I don't want any misinterpretation of the orders later. Right away. No, you listen to me. I want orders with a real signature and on letter, just like the old days. Yes. If something goes wrong, they yes. start you playing musical chairs. I want my get out of jail free card out. Let's open it up. Well, it looks like you and me are gonna finally do some real business. Sir, there's a fax coming for you. It's Mark Durgin. Tell her to get his ass down here ASAP. Tell her the commander wants that fax down here right away.
are the Hubris? This is Commander Michael Harris. I've just been given orders to launch two deep dive probes with one megaton of explosives each. And begin phase two of the operation. Finally end this problem once for all. Now I know there's been some dissent among various factions of the crew concerning this approach, but I'm here to tell you. That after all, the data was examined by scientific communities around the world. It was agreed that this is the only course of action. All right, gentlemen, listen up. I know most of you have never agreed with my approach to this problem, but I'm asking you. Delay launch as long as possible. Allow me to get an override on this order. I'll have to ask you to clear this room, sir. Right, this way, now. I was hoping your cooperation would be voluntary. Now it looks like it's going to have to be mandatory. Please do not launch the nuclear torpedo. Thank you. Does anyone have a problem if I make a phone call? Hurst. What's going on? We just got a launch order. Cut, I wanted to call you. Yeah, well, I would have appreciated it. Because Harris has his finger on the trigger, and it looks like he got authorization directly from the committee. Yeah, he did. John, we gave it our best shot, but we lost. They're going to launch. Yeah, well, not just yet. I've kind of put a damper on that. What do you mean? Taking control of the torpedo room and stop the launch. John, you listen to me, okay? You're a decorated soldier. You've got a career. Please don't, don't throw it away over this. I had a career. That ended about two minutes ago. Face. But they've backed Chomsky. There's no more research. They want to deal with the situation now. Sorry, Ann. Yeah, some things are a little more important than a guy's career. What do you mean? I got a room full of guys with nuclear weapons and a loaded pistol in my hand. You do the math. You listen to me. We have clearance to launch. Sorry, Mike. I want to put this thing on ice until cooler heads prevail. John. Get the hell out of my torpedo room, and we'll forget this whole thing ever happened. Confine yourself to quarters. Can't do it. Sorry, Commander. Tell Fenwick to get his crew out there ASAP. I want this problem eliminated now. Yes, sir. John, listen to me. You take Harris's offer right now. Yeah, they're going to drop two megatons down a hole and hope to seal it. We both know there's a lot more going on down there. Well, what can you do? You can't stop it. I mean, how long do you think you can hold them off for? Well, I spent two weeks crawling on my belly in Desert Storm trying to get a shot. This is walking the park. All right, we're in position. Listen, Ann. Next time you see your husband, you tell him if I'd met you first, he'd be standing here. Not me. You tell him. Yeah. Next time I see him. Structural damage, area is secure. See, Commander. What's the situation? Are we still operational? Yeah, we're still operational. How much longer to launch? Jenkins, how long? Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Let's do it.
contact. What is it? It's nothing that can be determined. Are we still go for launch? You're still go on launch. I have a lock. First warhead impacts 800 meters on the south wall. Second warhead impacts 29 seconds later. The surface impact should seal the trench. Are we clear for launch? Both tubes loaded and ready to launch. Launching probes into the trench in five, four, three, two. Fire one. Number one away. Prepare for impact. You have clearance for two. Fire two. Fire two. Number two away. 29.63 seconds behind number one. Both birds on target. Coming up on the trench. Sir, you really should see this. I've got something way off the charts. Commander, uh, I'm picking up a strange reading. Check out the electromagnetic pulse on this. What the hell? We don't even have detonation. Commander, massive electromagnetic pulse wave heading straight for us. We've lost the torpedoes. I know. I'm sending aboard code. Negative response. Negative response. I'm picking up some kind of transmission. Put it on the speaker. <laughs> What the hell is that? Well, eight mermaids. Commander, we have multiple targets heading straight for us. 80 knots in closing. At least 25 ton displacement each. How are they? I don't know! They're, 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 they're done no! Nice to see you, too. Oh, the feeling's mutual. They've asked me to head a team back to the Hubris, and they want you on it. <laughs> well, I'm not going. Really? Well, uh, I don't think you've got a choice. Oh, you... But I was fired. You sold me out to Chomsky. What are you talking about? The committee meeting was supposed to be a strategy review. That's what they told me. It's bullshit. Well, it looks like you got another shot. Don't blow it this time. 
Fine. Let's go. You ever been married, Corporal? You're a lucky man. Glad you decided to come back. Well, I was enjoying some cross-country skiing, and I realized if I left the fate of the world in your hands, I'd have to take up water skiing. <laughs> Let's try not to be quite so dramatic. I heard you lost the hubris. I've lost contact with the hubris. The satellite scan shows the structure is still sound. Well, if you've lost all contact, wouldn't you think that the facility suffered some kind of catastrophe? Well, that is why we're putting a team back together to go. Oh, and just after I was thrown off, now you want me to go back? I had nothing to do with that. Oh, and I guess you had nothing to do with John Hurst either. John Hurst attempted to seize the hubris at gunpoint. And you killed him. The military security team killed him. Let's get back to the reason why I called you here. And what is that, Doctor? That I was right? That if John had been able to stop that launch, we wouldn't be in the mess that we are today? Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Get on with it. We detected an 86% increase in the heat emanating from the Polaris Rift. This is it. Well, at that rate, we've got less than 10 years. It's a plane waiting and a team assembling at Banger. We leave tonight. to hell ain't gonna be diving in this cold. The heat from the rift is nearly 2,000 degrees. You won't be cold in the water. Sounds like I got a jacuzzi waiting for me. I thought you Navy boys like the water cold. I ain't in the Navy anymore, Cyril. Private contractor on loan to the research agents. Ooh, an aristocrat. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you ever hook up with that hot chick we met in Ibiza last year? Oh, man. Her and her friend. Tales from the dark side, brother. Give me the details. We got a lady present. Don't worry about me, boys. I was married to the military for three lousy years. Seems more like six to me. That's right, you two were married, huh? Yo, Captain, you signed on to a mission with your ex? Orders are orders. All right, we're about 40 clicks from the anchor access, so strap in. You guys sure you know where the landing strip is? I made this run 12 times in the last six months. When was the last topographic read you got on the runway? When we left Bangor. It was nine hours ago with all that heat under the ice. There'll be some serious shifting. So? So there could be a mountain of ice in the center of the runway. Are you suggesting we abort the landing? No, I'm suggesting we take another topographical read of that runway before we set this thing down. Satellite won't be around for another 45 minutes at least. How much fuel you got? Not enough to circle for 45 and still make any base in Alaska. We don't have the choice to go back. We land. Doctor, I'm responsible for the people of this mission. Yeah, well, G8 gave me permission to override your orders. Take her down. Yes, sir. It always is rough. It gets rough. What are you doing?
You all right? Huh? Yeah, yeah. All right. You all right, everybody all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Nice call. He's dead! Yeah, this one too. All right, we gotta get to the access way. You all right? Arcero, you all right, man? You okay? Dude, that sucked. No, you'll be all right, man. Start unpacking, we gotta go out. Well, what about them? Shouldn't we do something? <coughs> They'll keep in the cold better than we will. We gotta get inside. You guys wait up here. Why? It's freezing out here. Because if the hull of the hubris is breached, the shaft's gonna fill up with water. You wanna go down there and drown or stay up here and be a little cold? Okay, okay, just hurry up, please. You guys are totally fried. What the hell happened here? You all read the report before we left. Right after launch, they were hit with a massive electrical pulse. I'm gonna get the generator online. Get the power back up. You come up, Protoss? Yeah. We better head to the control room. Stay behind me.
more of these fried dead dudes, man. Just like the others. Computer's dead. <sighs> this one's on battery. Just like whatever happened went down about 18 minutes after launch. I would do that if I were you. Launch control room might have been breached. Where's Sierra? How long before you get the power back up? Give me a minute. Less than a minute. That was fast. Power search blew everything offline. Where? Everything's fine now. Whatever hit him hit him fast. Nobody even tried to escape in the mini subs. Well, I'll be damned. Looks like the entire station's 100% operational. Launch control room's fine. So can I open it now? Be my guest. Oh. It's Commander Harris. Help me get him out of the chair. Ain't my job. Listen, Doctor. Before we do anything else on this station, we're gonna police our dead. You got that? Sure. Triple OT for this. Yeah, dead people stay. Ugh, none of that. Hey man, with that Dr. Fletcher, you see the way she was looking at me? Carnal knowledge all over her face, bro. Yeah, you're gonna have to get past Opie. Oh, that dude's striking out, man. Can't you see? There's a bad vibe between those guys. Get in the door, guys. bro. Sign on to bury the dead. Amen, bro. Protus. Rociero, get down to the control room. Roger that. You think they found another dead guy? Man, this was not in my contract. I say we bail, man. Yeah, how? Captain Crash and his co-pilot Ice Cube head aren't going anywhere. Uh, I've got no choice. I have to launch another probe. I want some more time to try and break these transmissions. We've had six months and i was close so your theory is that something intelligent is at the helm of the trench right my theory is to understand the cause of the trench is to understand the transmission nothing is conclusive all right damn it i gotta tell washington and g8 what's going on here now you two stop bickering and give me some answers so i don't know why huckleberry and the bob hooked up with shrimp on the barbie but i'll show her a little hey, sweet hey, hey, hey. what's up what's going on we gotta find out Five years ago, there was a study of electric eels in the Amazon. Now, the theory was that the electrical current wasn't a biological reaction, it was neurological. So? The brain thinks with electrical energy, so really the eels are using hyper-electrical thought. To understand the cause of the trench is to understand the transmission. When we first started detecting the rift, we intercepted transmissions that almost duplicated the transmissions made by the electric eels. And as the rift grew, we detected increasing transmissions. Transmissions to who? There were general transmissions broadcast out of the trench straight up. You mean space? Possibly. So let me understand your theory. You think giant electrical eels 
opened the Polaris Rift to melt the ice caps and are now sending signals to someone in space? And our government hired you. Stow it. This is why I believe that some kind of intelligent creature is behind the opening of the trench. Intelligent or not, humans inhabit the Earth, and we have to prevent the destruction of our own race. Yes, this station tried and 27 men and women died. Now we're going to learn from their mistakes. I want to launch another data probe into the trench. How long before we can launch? Ten minutes to configure, 15 to launch. Do it. What if I'm right? What if they interpret this launch as an attack? This station has launched over 100 probes into the trench in the last year. Nothing happened until we tried to close it. I think that proves your theory that this creature knows the difference between a weapon and a probe. Let's hope so. Where are you headed? Research by you. The head. What's your plan? We've got to try and decipher these transmissions, figure out why this trench is opening up. That's easy. The water creatures, right? You're going to melt the North Pole, flood the Earth, more room for them. Captain Andy Rains, your job is to stop them at all costs, destroy them. Ask questions later, right? I'm a member of the human race, and I'm damn sure you're going to see to it that there's plenty of real estate left for us on our planet. Do you remember something they taught you in the military academy? Know your enemy? Maybe one of us should try and figure out who or what these creatures are before we start nuking them again. Well, that's why they brought you. Power's up. Launch sequence initialized. Give authorization to fire. One, two, three. One, two, three. Lock and seal. This probe is ready to cook. We got one in the tube ready to launch. Was on target. I got data readout. We got three targets headed our way at forty nine. <laughs> Proto, load a widespread impact torpedo into number two. You got it. What the hell do you think you're doing? Defending this station. Listen to me, do not fire. What do you propose we do? Wait to see what their intentions are. You may fire when ready. Roger that. No, wait for my order. All right, we're waiting for an order. They're heading towards us at 40 knots. We know their intentions. Whatever these things are, it's wiped out the entire personnel of the station. Yes, after they were fired upon. The hubris may have taken no defensive measures. I wouldn't bet on that. with a warning or caution. I need more. They're slowing down. They're breaking off their line of attack. Whoa. They're circling the hubris. They 
are right outside the hull. What did you transmit? I reversed their transmissions. Reigns! One's entered the dive pool. Anne? Anne! medical down here fast. one and it hit me with some kind of electrical current you just reached out and touched it <sighs> not the approach i would have taken how are you she seems to be all right what happened to them moved away realizing the data's in the problem and the rest is heating up You're all right. Andy. I didn't tell him everything. Why not? Because you're the only one that I really trust. I wish I could say the same. Andy, I was in contact. I understand. Tell me. This is the Hubris base station. Anybody there? This is the Hubris base station. Is anybody there? What's up? Looks like the communications antenna shorted out. And? And you have to take the mini sub and plant a new one through the ice. That ice is so thick, I'm gonna have to fire an impact charge just to break through. However you wanna do it. <laughs> yeah, that's not the point. I'm not sure how these creatures are gonna react if I start launching explosives. You sure you have clearance for this? How am I gonna get clearance without an antenna? <laughs> right. Okay, you got four icebreakers loaded in the tube. Blow a hole, launch a radio boom. You got it. MIT PhD pussy.
Good luck. on the screen there. Be clear. All right. Launching. Two meters to break through. I'm gonna launch the second one. I got you, Protus. Firing number two. Jackpot! Launching train. How are you looking, Doc? Still clear. Sonar. Shit. he doing out there? We need the communication, so he went out to plan a transmission buoy. Without talking to me? We have to have communication with the outside world, Captain. You're gonna use the access tunnel to plant that transmitter. Any explosion out there can be taken as aggressive action. You listen to me, Doctor. This may be your mission, but I'm running. See? I can't take much more of this! I gotta take action! Protus, listen to me. Listen to me, I want you to sit tight. Just relax, stay dead in the water, don't move. Sit tight. We'll get you out. Just stay calm. Logic! B.O.B. 498! One, two, three! Captain! I got less than 12 minutes and I'm going straight down! Son, listen to me. Don't take any action at all. It can be interpreted as aggressive. Just be calm. Gotta sit tight. We'll get you out. Don't take any of your Just let him drown. You should have thought that before you sent him out there. Just sit tight, bro. Let's go. This, Protus, no. He's heading right towards us. Doctor! Got the fire! For God's sake, fire! I'm ready to launch! 
Watch. Do not fire. One click. Zombies. Repeat. Do fire. not fire. God damn it! Give Protoss a chance. Damn it! I'm overriding that command. Fire. Watch the arrow. Fire! Yes, sir. Your blanket. Damn it! God! Nice work, Captain. Yeah, well, we wouldn't be in the ship if you'd let me do my job. I had to set up communication. Bullshit! You knew exactly what you were doing. You wanted to see if those explosions would provoke those things. We have to tell the committee what has happened. What has happened? What? Besides being attacked by electric eels? Fuck! Someone want to tell me what has happened? These creatures weren't released from the trench. They've created it. When one of them entered the dive tank, I touched it and it communicated with me. You talked to a fish. They are far from being mere fish. I'd love to believe you, Doctor, but... Why the hell would you lie to us? John Hurst went to extreme measures to support your wife. And killed him in the process. How do I know this isn't just a ploy to end this operation? I did not support what John did. So you want me to go to the committee and tell These them... These creatures have come out of a very long hibernation to prepare Earth for their children. To them, the human race is simply an infestation. This infestation is willing to survive. The committee is ready to vote to launch a massive nuclear torpedo attack, closing this trench permanently in one hour. One hour. A massive nuke attack will be polarized. The plan was to be airborne before any There's nukes There's no way launched. to escape. The access way is flooded. They're sending a plane for us as we speak. Well, let's hope it gets here. This attack will end up exactly like the first one. At the present level of heating from the trench, the ice cap will be reduced by 82% in three years. The Greenland cap by 64%. We will be at the point of no return if we wait. And the consequences of a massive nuclear detonation at the pole. With the closure of the trench, we hope to see most of the failout contained in newly formed ice. But there will be repercussions to Norton fish supplies for at least the next 20 years. The Hubris Research Station failed the first time. Why do you feel confident that this operation will succeed? We have nearly 50 nuclear-armed attack cells closing toward the pole as we speak. They will first launch high explosive to repel us to clear a path in the ice. These launches will be followed by each sub launching four one-megaton warheads. Whatever interference caused by the entities present at the trench during the previous attempt will be overwhelmed. Ladies and gentlemen of this committee, I need your vote.
How are you feeling? Almost dry. Other than that condemned, thanks. How about you? I think I figured out a new way to decipher these transmissions. Good for you. What's bugging you? I don't know if you realized it, but we're probably not going to get out of here alive once they've launched. Well, I'm trying not to think about that. And Chomsky's not going to relay your report. He's considering it inconclusive. I'm sure he does. Damn it, Ann. We're under the ice in the North Pole. The end of the world's coming at us, and all you can do is just act so... So what? So casual. And you want me to do what? I don't know. Something more end of the worldish. End of the worldish. All right. All right. I like it. You start. You know, I'm really close to breaking this code. Yeah? You think we can do it? Uh, not if I don't get back to work. You don't let me slow you up. I guess I could just go talk to Chomsky. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. Right. Right. Well, here, here I go. are they? Sir, the Pervaders at 1,200 meters and the St. Petersburg's at 2,000 meters. They're matching our death. Sir, we've spent our entire careers trying to avoid giving away any bit of information, and now they want us to send them our targeting data. This is a direct order from Admiral Kinney of the Atlantic Fleet. Yes, sir. Seaman, send targeting data. Yes, sir. Sir, I've got a question. Go ahead. We're loading nuke-tip torpedoes into the tubes. It's a direct order. Yes, sir. They made their decision. They're gonna launch in zero eight hours. You never even told them about Anne's discovery, did you? What am I gonna say? The fate of the world rests on some woman who's been contacted by a billion-year-old fish? Let me ask you a question. Why'd you even bring her? Sometimes being right just isn't enough. And me? Why'd you ask for me? I figured you'd be the least likely to be influenced by her. How so? Major John Hurst was once your friend. He betrayed you. She left you for Hurst because he believed her and you didn't. Don't let her destroy you the way she did him. That is a hell of a lot of dangerous ice up there. May I suggest that we begin the clearing operation from here? What a solution. I have solutions transmitting to the Poveda and the St. Petersburg.
Torpedo room, fire on my command. All solutions plotted. You have a solution. Fire. What the hell is going on up there? Subs are breaking through the ice to launch. No, you have to stop them. I've solved the decipher code. Committee is voted. Research is over. It's time to act. <sighs> You're too late. They've launched. Damn it! There's got to be something we can do. Come here. What are you doing? You sure that program of yours works? Will it run on the mini subs computer? It should. Get it. What are we gonna do? We're gonna make contact. believed you and I didn't, that you left me for him? You're so stupid, Andy Rains. You think I left you for him? In a word, yeah. I left you because you broke my heart. John was a friend. <laughs> he was once your friend, too. What did you think? I was sleeping with him? Weren't you? Maybe John wanted more, but... I had one big problem. What was that? Still in love with you. Can you tell me something. Why are you doing this? Is it because you finally believe me? Or because you're still in love with me? A little both. Should be clear to fire, sir. This is a ComSat transmission. Yes, sir. USS Jimmy Carter shows most residual ice cleared. Waiting orders to fire from Admiral Kinney. <laughs> sir, the St. Petersburg just exploded. What happened? Uh, there was a massive energy fluctuation, then, then nothing. It, it's gone. It's gone. Commander Beach of the USS Jimmy Carter. We are under attack. We need immediate operational orders to continue this mission or pull back. Launch. This is Chomsky. Yes, sir. Receiving the order now. Affirmative. This is Chomsky. Who the hell's in the mini stuff? Don't answer him. It's Captain Rains. Captain, you're directly disobeying an order from the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the GA Committee. It's one way to look at it. Fletcher and I have decided to give the world another option. When these torpedoes impact, your only chance of survival will be on board the Hubris. Hope you're right. Sir, I have a target closing in at 50 knots. Same as before? Yes, sir. I want immediate launch of that invasive maneuvers. Yes, sir. I have a fire solution. Fire and then hard to port. Captain, when those torpedoes impact, your mini sub will be destroyed. You think you have any better chance? What happened last time? That was two torpedoes. This time there's over a hundred with one megaton warhead. Last time the warheads never even reached their target. This time we've shielded them. Look, this conversation is a complete waste of time unless you're going to return to the hubris. Goodbye. Is 
right. The mini sub is never going to withstand the blast. Neither will he. Closing fast. Still closing. Transmission that frequency is so high it's starting to short out the transceivers. The program has no translation for them. It's their name. The name they've given this world. Launch high explosive torpedoes. It's not easy, Doctor. Son of a bitch. Ah. Ah. 
Hubris if there's any substitute. Do you read me? Hubris, you read me. Come in. 20 minutes, it's not gonna matter anyway. Maybe we can surface where the transmitter is playing. To where? It's 50 below on top. Besides, when those torpedoes detonate, the ice is gonna be shattered for miles. What are you doing? You gotta at least try. That's what I like about you, Andy Rains. You never give up. What's the condition of the human? I don't care, just come and get me! Damn it, we can't just leave him there. What I like about you, Dr. Fletcher, I always want to do the right thing. Doctor, we're coming back. ETA, six minutes. Good. What do you think they're doing? I don't know. Probably waiting to see what we're gonna do. 52% of the facility's flooded. This place is really busted up. Sub base still operation. Let's take her on in. You didn't know it was her idea to come back. Uh, I guess I was contacted. What did they find out? I don't know. What did they learn from you? Nothing. Tell me what they found out. They don't touch me. They found out about the plan. What plan? To distract them from the torpedoes while they attack the hubris. Came straight from the president of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Let him go. What do you want to do? I have to contact them. They realize what's happened. They don't have the power to stop all the torpedoes, so they'll all be killed. The signal to the others that Earth will not be inhabitable. Well, the hull of the hubris was built to withstand catastrophic pressure from collapsing ice. I think we got a better chance in here than we do in the mini sub. And if we move the hubris further away, we've got an even better chance, right? Detach. It's half filled with water. We'll sink as soon as we run out of fuel. But it's our best shot. We'll have less than 12 minutes. Fire him up. No. You can still float. Shit. Two 
too heavy. that bullet. Of course, in ten minutes, we're going to run out of fuel. Sink like a rock. Can we flood the rest of the hubris and escape on the mini-sub? Yeah, why? We can use the hubris as a cocoon for the next thousand years. I had to ask. you're doing? I'm taking the mini sub. No, you're not. We're all escaping on the mini sub. Not here to save endangered species. They're not endangered species. Do you know what we can learn from them? I don't need another lecture from you. Surface. It doesn't matter. Yes, Mr. President. There are five minutes from target. There he goes. Taking our escape plan with him. What plan? We would have run out of power at 20 clicks, and then what? Oh, we'd have given it a try. I've still got a chance. Sod the rest of the hubris and blow all the excess panels. Are you thinking what I think you're thinking? Trust me. This is Hubert's mini sub too. I need emergency pick. This is Hubert's mini sub too. I need emergency pickup. This is Hubert's mini sub too. I need emergency pickup. Thank you. 
20 seconds till impact. Grab a hold of them. This is the Hubris Mini Sub 2. I need emergency pickup. 12, 11, 10. Shot, didn't we, honey? We got power. The engine at 150 percent. We stay just exactly at this angle. We might be able to crack through the ice and get out through the access way. Well, what'll happen to the hubris? Oh, it'll sink. You'll have your cocoon. They'll have it. I believe that any trace of the species was wiped out with the detonation of the nuclear torpedoes. Thus, with the radiation levels, I would suggest that any search be delayed for at least five years until the radiation has reached a safer level. Thank you, Doctor. Captain Rains, do you agree with Dr. Fletcher's assertion that none of the species survived? I agree with my... with Dr. Fletcher, yes. Then this committee will maintain the present moratorium on any further search for the species within 100 kilometers of the North Pole for at least five years. Thank you. Congratulations. Just hope when they come. 
I'm out of hibernation, I'm long gone from this world. I'm sure we'll both be long gone. So how's the house? You finished that remodel we started? Why don't you come over and see for yourself? <laughs> <laughs>